Take a good look in the mirror. Tell me who, who do you see? Keep your head up. Reflect on who you are. Yeah, that's you, you. Bold as can be. Every feature on your face, your ears, your eyes, your nose, your teeth are as perfect as can be. So sing, I'm brave, I'm strong, I'm loved, I'm smart, and I'm you. To say. say, you know you've got the power, yeah. but only you can make the choice to do, do it your own, your own way. The world's an oyster, you're the pearl, and who you really are, I'm firm. Just be exactly who you are, be proud and say, I'm brave, I'm strong, I'm loved. Hi guys, I hope you are enjoying your winter breaks and I'm really excited to be coming to you today from Springfield, Massachusetts, the home of the incredible Dr. Seuss. I'll be taking you with me on a little trip as we explore some sculptures and some exhibits dedicated to his influential works and his writings. I hope that it inspires you and that you remember, oh, the places you can go because you have shoes in your feet you have feet in your shoes and you have brains in your head. That's what really matters. All right, guys, let's go. Let's have some fun.
guys know why this is so important to the Lorax? You see, the Lorax reminds us to take care of our environment. I love exploring stories that remind us about something that's really important. We only have one Earth, and it's important that when we are done with something, we put it in the trash if it can't be used again. Recycling if it's something that we can turn into something new. Or compost if it's a food that can make wonderful fertilizer for our plants to help us grow food. Remember the message of the Lorax as we explore and read how important it is to take care of one another and our Earth. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Remember that with effort and time, you can achieve your dreams.